Good morning, my friends on YouTube. I am doing this video today to mount, not mount, to pot up one of my beautiful purchases from an orchid festival that I just recently went to last weekend. This is her tag. So I think she's gonna look gorgeous. And my decision was, and I had a lot of viewers inputting that this basket would be a good choice. I think the size is great. I just need to now go out and buy the um, the hanger for it. But that's not a problem. I'm gonna go out and buy the hanger. I got the supplies I needed. I kind of washed the whole table with a Dawn power wash so that I can make sure everything is clean. If you see any dirt, it's coming. It's from the bottom. The top is clean. But I have my supplies because I'm gonna put a combination of some leka that I have, some New Zealand Orchiata bark from the Orchid Supply Store. Take a look at their information. Okay, you can get a 12% off if you use the code Melissa. I'm also gonna use Lava Rock and uh, probably some charcoal. The first step is I'm going to try to rehydrate her in some water and I'm going to start putting my liner in the basket. I was gonna cut this up and put this at the bottom, but I don't know. I'm thinking just to go natural from my tree back there. And if it doesn't last, I had a viewer tell me that's not gonna last, it's gonna break down. Okay, I don't know. That I Is this gonna last longer? I don't know. I'm still debating. I am still debating. I don't even know where I got this. Helps retain water. Mm, I don't know. Let's see what happens. So I let her soak for a while and I kind of tried to wipe down the leaves to get her as clean as possible. Um, a viewer had commented that the roots were not as awesome as I thought. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think they seem okay to me, but I am no expert, so I just thought there was a lot of roots, which I guess would be better than how I got the other ones that are now okay, but when I got them, they were they're non-existent roots, no roots at all. So I'm planning on possibly trimming a little if I find some that are not um, viable, if I see that they look completely dry or mushy in any way, I'm gonna trim those off. These are actually brand new shears. I clean them off anyways. And then after that, I will probably be spraying with hydrogen peroxide. And then I have prepared the basket. And luckily one of the pieces that I had fit perfectly in here. So yeah, that's what it's gonna be for now. And I will live and learn if that doesn't work out. I will live and learn and get another type of liner. Um, I know that there's some orchid supply stores that sell the ones like that proof come in. That might be, you know, for the next time, but this is all I have and what I'm gonna use. Okay, so I'm trying to situate her now. I think she looks pretty good. I'm trying to put her closer, more towards this side over here because I believe that this one back here is the new growth, meaning on this rhizome, it will grow towards the back. That way I know it's hard to point, hold, and hold the uh, phone. Next time I'll set up the tripod, but I really wanted to get this done. I have a lot of other planty chores. So I'm hoping that'll work. This is plenty of room. So she'll look like she's in the middle, but these older bulbs over here will be really close to the edge. And then look how much room I have in the back for her to grow. All that. And here's my Lekka in the water. Washed them up a little bit. So it didn't take much. I put a lot of the bigger things in the bottom and then I am tapping, 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 tapping to kind of settle them in 
sorry for the noise, but uh, orchid growing is not quiet sometimes, right? So there you go. I am now I'm going to fill in with Lekka and lastly orchid bark because it's the smallest. Well, Lekka is also small. Some people say Lika. I have to look that up to see what's the proper pronunciation. For some reason, I'm obsessed with knowing the proper pronunciation. But um, either way. Okay, here we go. Next step. Okay. Okay, guys, look. Look, she is looking good. Now, I'm going to wet her, and I know she'll settle in a little more when I give her a little shower to kind of wet everything and have everything settle. But I think I'm going to add a rhizome clip. This is what you call a rhizome clip. You can get them online or on Amazon or on in uh, orchid supply places. I think I got these from Ophi down in Homestead and um, they are meant to hold your plant in place because I've heard from a lot of growers, an unsteady plant is a dead plant. I know, kind of dramatic, but uh, I'm gonna try to make sure that she is steady and I'm gonna try to place this in a way to hold everything in tight and not, you know, because eh, she's okay, but she's, she can be better. So there you go. There's the clip. I kind of tried to grab it in the middle of one of the uh, new growths, the big, fat, strong one, and attach her. Do I add another? I might add another right over here. Okay. Double clipped down. This is not going anywhere. She's safe and secure, stable. Next up, a little shower to settle everything. Maybe a little more. This is the fun part. Settle in, settle in. All right, there you have it. See, this is not hard at all, guys. Last but not least, it is fertilizing day. So yeah, while we're at it, while she's wet, I'm gonna hit her with my special potion. If you haven't seen that fertilizing video. Oh no, it's running out. It's running out, is it gonna make it? Is it gonna make it? This is what I use to fertilize. A lot of people have asked me, why is it this color? Because you put sea kelp and it is that color oh no i don't know if that was enough or well, whatever when i refill it i'll give it another another shot so yeah some people had asked me what do you put in there i had put a a lovely mix in there that consists of 20 20 20. it's a one a lot of people use 20 20 20 but i also add liquid seaweed Cali Magic. What else? What else? What else? Natural Epsom salt. Don't use the one that has colors or perfumes. And Super Thrive. So that is my little mixture there. And um, feel free to watch the video to see the measurements. And, and feel free to try your own because it depends. It depends on where you live. It depends on your media. It depends on the humidity. It depends on a lot. But here... I um, got this from this mixture from Nelson and a viewer that he has that um, is a, a like a master grower they, they say and this is what I learned and let me tell you my plants are doing pretty good pretty pretty good I do this every time I think it's like a little bit more than half a teaspoon is what I use for this and I do it weekly so it's a half I would say a little bit more than half. Why? Because I want to be extra. And I do, I believe, a teaspoon of this, a tablespoon of this, two tablespoons of this, and a teaspoon of this. That's what I do. So feel free to comment if you have a similar fertilizer um, concoction or if you have any advice for me, I'll take it. I'll take it, but for now, this is what's working. And let's follow this lovely plant on her journey. Okay, the next step is 
to find a hook or hanger. Maybe I can get creative so I don't have to run over to uh, Home Depot. But here's her plant. This is from Ecuajanera. Some people were asking me, what was that last plant from? Or oh, the first plant is from Ecuajanera. This is their information. So we're gonna follow her and her growing journey. It's not complete without the tag. You have to put the tag on there, guys. Uh, I hope you like and subscribe. This should be a short video where I just kind of show you how I put it together. And then I will show you a video of where I hung her because I am running out of room. I mean, there's, there's, there's always room for, <laughs> there's always room for more, of course. But yeah, I'm afraid to um, put so much weight on this that I'm gonna pull the whole thing down. And my husband had to do some reinforcements because it got windy one day and um, scary things happened. So he put in, you know, some reinforcements. Let's just call it that for now. And we will see if those reinforcements are gonna work or if we need something, something more so thank you for joining me here this is melissa loves orchids from my little orchid pergola and doing planty projects on my on my day off because it's veterans day too so shout out to all the veterans out there everybody appreciates veterans and are thankful for veterans so thank you for joining me again i hope you like and subscribe for the next um for the next video I am in the process of editing the um, Orchids in Bloom visit. So I don't know which, which one I'm gonna be able to put out faster. But um, yeah, that one is an hour long. I did not realize I was there for so long or I was filming for so long. But um, I went really early so I didn't have a crowd of people and that makes it easier to film. Less fun though, less fun. But I did find some Orchid pals, Orchid friends and um, it was nice to I talk to vendors there um so anyways i will see you soon in the next one thank you so much for following i think right now i have like 650 i am so shocked and humbled and happy so please come back if you have any video ideas i will be happy to to listen and consider them and um yeah get outside start growing connect with nature and i'll see you next time thank you